Hi guys, thank you for stopping by and watching this video. In this video, I want to introduce to you guys Hummingbird Tree. In Malay, it's called Pokok Turi and in Tamil, is Agati Maram. Both the flowers and leaves from this tree is edible. There are two types of Hummingbird Tree that I have planted. One is red flowering Hummingbird Tree, another one is white flowering Hummingbird Tree. Since all the hummingbird trees are grown taller, I decided to cut it down and harvest a lot of flowers and leaves from that tree. The blooms are not suitable for cooking as it might contain insects in it. To make hummingbird flowers stir fry, I used the flower which have never bloomed yet. Hummingbird tree is a nitrogen fixing tree. Nitrogen fixing plants are those whose roots are colonized by certain bacteria that extract nitrogen from the air and convert or fix it into a form required for their growth. When the bacteria are done with the nitrogen, it becomes available for the plant themselves. It is an example of symbiotic relationship between plant and bacteria and the name for the process is nitrogen fixation. So this is my so-called urea tree. The excess leaf of this tree I sprinkle on my garden so that other plants can get nitrogen from it. Since a lot of people don't know about this flower, I want to show you guys how to clean and cook it. I will stir fry this in Indian style. If you guys know any other recipe, please do comment below. First, I remove all the excess stem out from the flower. Wash the flowers gently three times in a clear water. Cut the flowers into small pieces. Since I went kampung, I get free curry leaf from garden as well as green chilies. Let's start cooking. Pour cooking oil. Once the oil is heat, add mustard seed, urad dal, fennel seed, then onion. I'm adding green chilli, then curry leaf, 
salt for onion to cook faster then garlic ginger paste once the raw smell of garlic ginger paste is gone I'm adding the cut uh, hummingbird flower The flour almost cooked. At this stage, check salt and add as per your taste. Since the flour has bitter taste, I'm adding shredded coconut to balance the taste. Hummingbird flower stir fry is done and it's time for tasting. I bet as usual it look nice and it will taste great. So if you have any hummingbird flowers available near you, please try this recipe. So thank you guys for watching and towards self sustainability life.